Hi, how are you? Scorpio. We already did Scorpio. You may be dealing with one or your Scorpio in your own personal chart is activated, right, Meow? Libra, how are you, my dear? You got 11th house and the North Node. Look at you. Something online on the internet is going to be popping off for you. You look real famous there. So maybe you're getting a lot of attention during this time from like the public, a public sphere or your group setting. You could put, be putting your attention there and attention is coming back to you. So attention is paying you. They're paying attention to you. Tell me who's coming in online, especially or on the Internet. You've got crossroads. OK, you got a choice. Choice, multiple options, turning point and indecisive coming in with a person. One more. I'm going to be pulling someone else's perspective today. Keep that in mind. Unfinished business. Great. It's not over. Patterns back and forth and baggage. Let's see what's on the bottom. Ex-lubber. Ex-lubber. Uh, memories, the past, old flame, and nostalgic. Okay. Nostalgia's here. I feel like I'm going to put this here. I don't like the way that looks. Right? Very nitpicky today. So... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pull the cards. We're going to put them, got moon here on split, but we're going to put them face down and then we'll see what's up. All right. Give me a moment. Buffering. Star spread. Great. All right. World card, really? Is that so? Yeah, this could be on the World Wide Web. You could be talking to somebody on the interwebs, on the intertubes, on the internet. Okay, through the airwaves and the ethers is what we got here today. Someone's at a distance from you. Maybe you guys have experienced an ending in the past. Definitely what it is. Well, yeah, I would say so myself. Yeah, um, you guys did have an ending, clearly. That's what the reading is so far. Three of Wands. Someone had this. Was it Leo? Three of Wands. Was it Leo? No? Now I don't know who did that. Anyway, there's another reading that had that right there. It was the first card out, and it may be connected to your reading. Damn it. Who was that? Capricorn? Okay, let's see. Aquarius? Sixth house and Uranus. Oh, damn. What's going on? Who is this? It, it could be an Aries. You may be dealing with an Aries here, a Capricorn and Aquarius. Who is this in the energy, please? Virgo? Capricorn? Yeah, you got a devil card, the eight of swords. Damn. What's going on with this intensity? Oh, the intensity intensifies. That's what this feels like. Yeah, the back of the emperor and the star card backside too. Well, why are they having trouble? This person's having difficulty understanding their next moves or the future. Like they feel very stuck in the past. Like they're over here like, okay, I'm trying to move forward, but I keep taking two steps back. So they take one step forward and two steps back. Come to find out they end up right in front of your door. Like this person having difficulty moving forward right now. And so they're trying to reassess what's going to happen. They look like you guys have had ghosted energy. So yeah, definitely there's been an ending here. You're not talking perhaps. Most likely you haven't been talking. It looks like they're deciding on communication though because there's communication in this energy here. They could even be thinking dirty thoughts about you. And that's something that they think about a lot. And they're like, okay, it's been a minute. It's been a while. I want to experience Libra. I want to be this way with Libra. Okay. Well, they see you like this with the three of swords. Some of you guys, this person has something going on in their day-to-day -day habits and routines that is changing. Like they suddenly decide to switch things up. They suddenly decide to switch up your dynamic or relationship or there's like a health scare that does this for them. Even tell me this on this. Someone's having like a health scare. So the second house. Yeah. Aquarius and Mars. Damn. So they in the coming period are going to feel like it's better to take action. That's their energy. They feel like taking action is the best bet. Tell me why they see Libra like this. 
because of the second house, Capricorn and Saturn. Wow. Well, you're, they feel like you don't like this dynamic because it's too hard to deal with or this person is too hard to deal with. Like it feels like sludge or it feels like pulling teeth with an individual. Maybe this was the energy for you. Like I, uh, and this is their perspective, by the way, like you, you give of yourself, but they don't really give of themselves. So it feels more so like you're pulling teeth instead. So you're maybe over giving. I want to say, let me see here with this three of swords, four of cups. Page of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Damn. It's like, where did you go? This person feels like you're kind of disappeared, or they did. Like, they feel like you're confused about the disappearing act that happened. Ace of Wands, Three of Cups. Yeah, like, one minute you're talking to me, next minute you're not talking to me. You just leave me here all alone. And someone feels like, I wonder if Libra is still waiting on me. I wonder if Libra still feels for me. You did wait too long for this person. You did try to make something work. You showed them that you cared, that you valued the dynamic and they did not do that. And this is their perspective. So it's interesting that they think that let me pull you actually though. And that is, um, your energy with Saturn. You feel like this, someone's not learning a lesson or something. Is it you? You could be bending over backwards too often. This is in the energy here. So Libra. Where's Libra actually? Okay, something's popping out. There you are. There's all your Libra energy. Yeah, for sure. Five of Pentacles. Well, because someone made you wait too long and you're over that. At your detriment. Yeah, you know that this person made you wait too long. You started not to care anymore. Something's cooling off with you. And this dynamic, you're like, eh, you know, I used to be real kind of stuck on it or real feeling it. I was feeling this person. I don't anymore. That's how you're saying this. Show me Libra and the energy again. So maybe you're focused on something else. You could be focused on work here. Damn, you were looking at this like you guys could work on this too, though. Seven of Cups. But you wonder... You wonder if this person's like an evil genius, even they feel this way to you. You're like, something's wrong with you. Like you just, <laughs> you one minute feel this way. You one minute feel that way. So you're over here looking at them like this. The thing is you have options now. All of a sudden you have options or all of a sudden you have other people who are interested in you. Now you're the evil genius. Now you can do and say what you want. Okay. You're taking away someone's power to do that to you. But I feel like you have an option to connect with this person. Maybe you've been wondering like when that was going to happen at times. Okay. But they're not your main focus anymore. So the Knight of Pentacles. Venus in the sixth house. Sagittarius Venus at that. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. And the Sagittarius of Venus. Okay. I mean, I have that, so I I know what that's about. <laughs> okay. So, well, this person's coming at the situation feeling very stagnant with you. There's there's a stuck, you know, sludge energy. We've been talking about this. Like too much time has lapsed. It's like people been sitting in their own. Hmm. What's this? Five of cups. They've been sitting in their own world, like wondering what's going to happen here. This person feels like they've been trying to get over something too. Did you know that? They're holding on to something. It could be you. Like they miss you here. I'm going to look at that really quick. But there's five of swords in the back of the page of wands. They're embarrassed or they're shy to admit something. It could be their feelings or that they miss you. Something could be going on that they're embarrassed to talk about. What is this right here? Seven of swords. Yeah. So they didn't take it seriously. Huh. Yeah, I feel like someone's been trying to heal something. It could be health, energy, mental, emotional. Maybe uh, someone's reality, like physical world, has been eaten away at their confidence even. They feel a little bit off. Like, mm, could be financially, for example, like this. Looks like an earth sign. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. But this person's over here feeling unstable a lot and that causes them a lot of stress and strain and maybe they don't talk about that. Like they feel, you know, they're not ready to come forward because other stuff is going on. They're not at their best shape. They're not in the best shape mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever it is. They don't financially even, they don't feel they're in the tip top shape to come through. 
Damn. Yeah. The back of the strength card. That's why they're not confident. This person is lacking confident because of something going on in their personal life and is causing your situation this issue. Like they feel behind. They feel left out. They feel not enoughness. They feel they're really sad about that. Like they're embarrassed even. And so they stay to themselves because they don't want to talk about it or they don't want to let you know what's going on with them. It's really affecting them, whatever it is. It feels personal, so it could be anything, but that's what it is too. And they're having difficulty like forgetting about you or, or whatever too. And they, like you're in the background all the time in their mind, but they're just over here, you know, going through the motions or feeling like crap about themselves and trying to fix it. So it looks like, okay. So here goes that action energy I was talking about. Like someone feels like it's time to do something. Wait a minute. I got to see this again. What's this? Okay, but where was Libra in that? Was this person cheating? Yeah, Libra, this person may have cheated on you. And you you would know that with the three of swords. So, uh, okay, let me tell you this. If it's not cheating, well, I mean, whatever. They lied, first of all, okay? Or they're just not telling you what they're going through, which is still kind of a lie. It's called a lie of omission, okay, a lie of omission. But, um, yeah, something is just not straightforward or straight up here. They decide to keep it to themselves. They are embarrassed. They, If they did cheat, if they did do something, they feel stupid. They are very embarrassed about that. Um, in other news, they are embarrassed about something going on in their life. This person could be having like a come to Jesus moment. Like, let's just say it like that. Okay. Religion or belief aside. It, okay. It's whatever. Um, this person is talking about, they're having this realization that they need to get help. Maybe like this person could need help. Maybe they're stuck with like a, an addictive behavior or they have like a tick and like whenever something feels really bad, they reach for the bottle or for example, okay. It could be like when they feel not confident, they start cheating. It could be anything, anything. I'm just giving you an example. Okay. Or like they feel um, insecure. So then they start clamming up and keeping to themselves and not talking to you anymore. And then it hurts your feelings. Hello. Yeah. Of course. Right. So let's see about the emperor. Yeah. This person may need help. If this person does have some sort of addictive behavior, this is rehab, by the way, or talking to somebody, getting a therapist, a counselor, a professional, someone who can help them. Maybe this is healthcare, like a doctor. Like I said, something about health, mental, emotional, physical, even financial. Something's going on there. But they're not stable, period. There's no question about that in this reading. So anyway, the moon. Oh, oh. Zaddy energy coming in. So we got some... They're trying to come in with Emperor. We got Moon Energy. Yeah. Damn. See, the Page of Wands at the backside of the Three of Wands. Here they are. Here's the deal. Because this person feels like they need to get it together so that they can come forward. But they feel like they need to get it together first. Whatever's going on with them. Because they're here feeling like they want to come in, but there's also something else in the environment that they need to heal or fix, and they know that, okay? They're here with a bad situation. They see it's bad and bad on both ends, and they're really trying to fix that. It looks like there's a pause here. Like they want to wait or they're giving it a moment, but they do have intentions to take action, and I'm telling you that. Okay, so anyway... So, wow, the Eight of Cups, and we talked about this up here. This person is having difficulty leaving you alone. They keep coming and going. We got Virgo, Eighth House, yep, and Mercury. It's like they want to talk to you, then they don't, and then they want to be with you, and then they don't. And when they try to leave, they can't leave completely, but they don't want you too close to them. Like, it keeps going on like that. But why is the Eight of Cups here? Or maybe they feel like you don't care anymore, Libra. Like, um, somebody in this dynamic just doesn't care anymore. Too much has gone down. What's this right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How to bring it back. That's the energy. The back of the star card is here. Okay, so the six of pentacles. The thing is, they feel like you guys have an opportunity to communicate, bring it back. But it would be like... Uh, what they're not expecting at all. It's like, I really want to bring this back with Libra, but I don't expect Libra to want to bring it back with me or I don't expect it to go well. It's almost like, even if, you know, we come back to this, is it going to work properly? I don't know. 
that's what it is. It's almost like God willing, it'll come back, <laughs> you know, that's the challenge here though. They feel like it's not, it's, um, not possible. Like it's almost, it's nearly impossible to come back together with you, you know? So here they are in the six of swords. They're trying to forget about you. They're trying to get over this. They cannot. We've been seeing that all over this reading. They're trying to start a new life. They cannot. They're, they keep coming back to you. So what is this? Emperor. Yeah, we got Aries a lot. Libra energy here. And the nine of wands. Okay. This could be anybody. I feel like they're going through a lot. So they have like a bunch of stuff going on. Or maybe a lot of stuff is happening in their first house right now. Or their own birth chart. Maybe they have a lot of energies in their first chart. Like could be a bunch of stuff. Anyway. Um, four of swords. Well, even their sixth house or their twelfth house as well, by the way. Um, anyway. So the six of swords and let's see. They're taking their time here. So the two of pentacles, see, they're trying to fix something. Look at that. I'm telling you, they're trying to fix something in their life so they could be like a better person, a better partner, a healthier person. Maybe they're healing from something, but they're trying to do it away from you. It's like they know they need to fix something to heal the dynamic. They're still holding on. They try to get away. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you right now. See, it's not, it's not over. That's the back of the world card with the three of cups. Someone feels like it's not over. There could be like a cancer energy here. Who is this person going toward? Uh, they're healing. I'm just telling you they're healing. Okay. This person's trying to heal something. But they feel like it's not done and over with you. You guys have unfinished business. All right. Thank you so much. I don't feel like you're going to hear from them just yet. You could. But it's more so like distant future is what they're talking about. However, that doesn't mean they're going to catch a wild hair and then they're going to message you. You know what I mean? It could be. So I, I personally don't see communication here. You look like you're healing. So just know that this is not over. That's how this is coming in. They're going away and then there will be a revisit at some point. So unfinished business. Yeah, I forgot that was there. Obviously. Hello, unfinished business. Thank you so much, Libra. Feel free to check out other places. I'll see you next time.